am going to tell you what. Sweet William makes a wonderful cut flower. Look at this gorgeous bouquet. It's got these multi flower bloom heads and this was a seed packet I bought I don't know two or three years ago and so they're seed grown and it was sort of one of those mixed packages and I am more and more veering towards packages of mixed varieties because look at this this is one type of flower with a bit of my variegated euonymus this is just from a a variegated euonymus bush I have out back and they're wonderful to have in your garden if you like to do cut flower arrangements they're great greenery and actually after I use it in this arrangement I'm going to put it in a pot and try to root it out because I have great luck rooting sprigs of euonymus from year to year I actually just planted some but look at that magnificent cut flower bouquet all one type of flower. Isn't that beautiful guys? Again it's Sweet William. All of these different colors came from one package two or three years ago and it is a biennial so it will come back for a couple of years but it drops its seeds all over the place so I think if you put it in a nice garden patch you have it perpetually because it just self seeds itself. So let's go look at it out in the garden. I can't rave enough about this. And by the way, these are the euonymus bushes. They're golden variegated euonymus that I took some branches from. And I like to use those in arrangements. It gives it not only a pop of green, but a pop of yellow. So they're wonderful to have in the garden as a resource for your cut flower bouquets, any type of euonymus. My Siberian irises are in full bloom. They're gorgeous, but I have terrible luck with them as a cut flower, so we just enjoy them in the garden. So they're putting on a magnificent show right now. But let me show you the Sweet William. And I have a batch of sweet William on both sides of my rustic garden. It really filled out in a very bushy way. As you can see, I left plenty of blooms on there. And of course, I want all of these different types of sweet William to drop their seeds. Aren't these beautiful? These were transplanted from another part of my garden. But of course, the pollinators love them. And I don't have too many, but I do have this darker red down here. It's very beautiful. There's a salvia. And then let's look over here at the other end. So I have them on both ends. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? So they're beautiful in the garden as well, and they don't seem to need staking. But I feel very lucky to have these two large stands back here and I have one patch up in the front of the garden. So I would highly recommend this one as a cut flower in your garden. And this is the original patch where I transferred some out to the back in the rustic garden bed. But as you can see they're sturdy little flowers and they don't need support and they look really beautiful in the garden as well. So I highly recommend Sweet William in the garden and as a cut flower and definitely get that mixed seed packet if you can. I hope you're having fun in your garden. Thanks for tuning in.